Hi, I'm Jessica with Grazer Electric. I wanted to talk today about the difference between the NEMA 1450 and the Tesla wall connector. The NEMA 1450 is an outlet and adapter that Teslas used to come with. The idea behind it was that if you were driving across country and you needed to charge your car, you could pull into an RV park and charge to get you to the end of your journey. Now that Tesla has charging stations all over the United States, there's really no need for a NEMA 1450 to come with the car anymore. You can still buy an adapter, so we can uh, continue to put in a NEMA 1450 in the garage for you if that's the route that you choose to go, and I'm going to talk about the differences between the two. The biggest difference between the NEMA 1450 and the Tesla wall connector is the rate at which it charges. The NEMA 1450 is a 50 amp 240 volt circuit that you plug the mobile connector cord into, the cord that comes with the car. The cord was made for the Model 3 standard range battery, which is only capable of handling 40 amps or 32 continuous amps at a time. The Tesla Model 3 long range battery, Model S and Model X are all capable of charging at a faster rate. So while you can charge the Model 3 long range, the S or the X with the NEMA 1450 outlet, you're going to charge at a little bit slower rate. The rate of charge for a Tesla Model 3 either the standard range battery or the long range battery is 30 miles per hour. For the S, it's 23 miles per hour, and for the X, it's 20. So all of this really depends on how long you are charging for. If you're able to charge for 10 hours overnight, if you're at home for that long and able to charge at that rate, then you could essentially get anywhere between 200 miles and 300 miles charged back to your car. If you tend to drive a little bit more than that and you wanted to do a Tesla wall connector charging at 60 amps, you do get to charge a little bit faster for the Tesla Model 3 long range battery, the S or the X. The Tesla Model 3 long range battery at 60 amps is capable of charging at 44 miles per hour, which is a significant difference over the 30 miles per hour that the Tesla Model 3 can charge with the NEMA 1450 outlet. While the Tesla Model 3 can charge at 44 miles per hour, the S only gets 34 miles per hour and the X can charge at 30 miles per hour. We connect most Tesla wall connectors at 60 amps because most homes have 60 amps to spare. Typically, when we get over 60 amps, most homes don't have the ability to spare that much power. So in order to put in a high power wall charger like 100 amps for a Tesla Model S or a Model X, most of the time the electrical service needs to be replaced. And by electrical service, I mean the main breaker panel and the meter that goes on the wall outside the home. The charging rate that best suits your needs really depends on how you drive and how much you drive. If you're only driving about 60 miles per day with a Model 3, then maybe a NEMA 1450 is perfect for you because you'd only need to charge for a couple hours. If you're depleting a full battery every day and you only get to charge for a few hours a day, then maybe something a little faster like the Tesla wall connector connected at 60 amps is a better fit for you. Another factor is the cost of these two. The Tesla wall connector in either silver or black is a $500 unit. The Tesla NEMA 1450 is a $35 adapter. Something else to consider is what you like looking at. If you really prefer looking at the Tesla wall connector, then that's absolutely a viable decision. Many people that travel often tend to lean toward the Tesla wall connector so they don't forget the mobile connector cord in their garage. The cord length could also be another factor. The mobile connector cord that comes with the car is 20 feet long. The cord that comes on the Tesla wall connector is 24 feet long. So it gives you a little more ability to choose where you want to park every day. At the end of the day, there's so many different factors to take into account, like how you drive, how much you drive, where you're going to park, and personal preference, what you like looking at in your garage every day. So take all of this into account and make the best decision for you.